right, it is Monday. Beautiful. We got hit by like a foot of snow last week, and now it's 70 degrees. So that's pretty cool. Ohio weather for you. But we are uh, in, we just got down to New Philadelphia to our manufacturing and shipping. Boom, there's flight test right there. Uh, we're picking up some stuff. We are in full Flight Fest mode. Flight Fest West is in just a couple weeks here. We are in the middle of getting ready for it. So we're coming down here. We're gonna be packing up a bunch of stuff. We're going to another warehouse we have in Denison, packing up a bunch of stuff, putting on pallets, getting ready for it. We're sending a whole semi truck of stuff out to Flight Fest West in California. Uh, if you guys haven't signed up yet, make sure you do so. Let's go check it out. Christian's been killing it, getting ready for Flight Fest. Yeah. What all does that entail? As far as like getting our store stuff ready, so products, like what all have you guys been working on? Uh, burning a lot of planes, a lot of packaging. A lot of packaging, very cool. So you think we're gonna be good? Oh yeah, always good. If somebody wants to buy like a Bloody Baron and a Bloody Wonder at Flight Fest West, are we gonna got, do we have them? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. always. Christian's got it covered, dude. How's it going, Mary? Hi, good. Great to see you. Yeah. So what does it mean, what's a double laser? Uh, double header. So has, does it have two nozzle, two laser beams? Yeah. Whoa, that's awesome. So this is one of our newest lasers. It's got two lasers. Two in one. But it's been a little bit of a pain to get it working. Yeah, we're getting plugged in. For those of you guys out there that use laser cutters, you guys probably know how temperamental they can be. And uh, we've definitely had our, our fair share of experiences. Each one has its own personality. Always, yeah. <laughs> So, so what's going on here? This is truly FT After Hours. Indeed. Yes. We're doing a little little build session. We are doing a build session Ooh. because frankly, in about three days, we're gonna be packing up a huge semi and it's gonna be going across the country to California and it has to get there a couple days before we arrive right. so we can start unloading it. And if anyone remembers Flight Fest last year mm -hmm. in the East Coast, we had a pretty cool display and good old Bob would literally for like three months take like <laughs> two or three kits a week Go Bob. and, and just, just knock them out one, one after another. He did, he killed it. And this this time we were way too far behind. So what we did is we we're having a pizza night tonight. Say hi Liz. Hi baby. And we got families coming out. Mm -hmm. We are gonna work into the wee evenings. We got about 30 airplanes we're gonna build in one day. 30. That's the goal. Ooh. And so far we have some early arrivers. You wanna check them out? Let's go check them out. All right. Yeah. All right, so we got Mitchell Gray. Hey. Mitchell, what are you building? I'm building the storage. The storage. storage. So after one storage, we'll have only about 20 more airplanes to build. And then this is really cool. <laughs> Any of you guys remember the Monster P38? This is Andres <laughs> Lou. Andres is growing up quicker than he should be allowed. This and, is true. Uh, he, he has the skills, the looks, and the voice. He's a total package. And uh, Andres is also an amazing designer. Andres, you want to show him your gremlin design? Uh, yeah, dude, check out the gremlin, dude. I'll get my crappy gremlin out of there. Look <laughs> at that. Let me, let me focus in on that. That's it's, just it's that's pretty. just ridiculous. It's a pretty looking thing. Thanks, man. Brother, you got to get Yeah, we're going to be basically be releasing the Gremlins soon, but we want to get as many designs as possible out there. And Andres has helped us out and, uh, and made that. Andres, what are you building? I'm building the Bushwhacker. Thank you for that, by the yeah. way. All right, <laughs> cool. You. All right, now we can do this. Whoop. Exit 81 for US 250 East, Fort Earnsville. All right, so we're headed to Denison. As you can see behind us here, we got a full load of, of stuff. So we actually were just talking about it. This is a, going to be our fourth flight fest. Seems like it's been more. It does. It's been a pretty crazy ride. 2014, uh, we kickstarted the original flight fest. We set a goal on Kickstarter for, what was it, like $5,000? I think so, yeah. And with the help of a lot of you guys that are probably watching this right now, that first Kickstarter got jumped up to like 37, it was like close to $40,000. And that's how Flight Fest was born. Uh, it was literally birthed from the community. That sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> too much. <laughs> but yeah, we've been doing it ever since. This last year in July, uh, 2016, we had uh, Flight Fest East. And uh, it was, I think it was safe to say that it was our best one yet. It was awesome. I think it's safe to say we, we've kind of gotten down this whole event thing. We've gotten pretty comfortable with it. And just when we thought we could, you know, we were super comfortable with it, uh, we decided to go ahead and have one on the other side of the country. Well, so that puts a little bit of a, a just, twist on things. Just to clarify, I mean, we're definitely not event people. No. You know, we're literally <laughs> like just a bunch of guys that work in the same office. And one year we had an idea that we should have an event. And then it just went way crazier than we thought. We, we thought it would be, 
you know, a couple hundred people, maybe, you know, maybe max like a couple hundred pilots. Um, we just thought it would just kind of like grow slowly. It would just kind of be like our own little, little flight, you know, event. Um, and it's just kind of, it's just kind of blown up. You know, it's definitely not the biggest RC event. It's the biggest electric RC event. It's the biggest electric RC event, but I think this year, all the events combined, you know, that'll definitely be the largest event series, I guess you could say. And not that there is another event series. For so us. yeah, we're doing, uh, this one that we're prepping for right now is Flight Fest West. It's gonna be in Vallejo, California. You can find more info at flightfest.com. But basically, we are packing up everything that we need from infrastructure to a bunch of signage we got some really cool flight fest banners flags all of the stuff that we need to host an event we're putting it on a box in a, in a, in a box truck and sending it out there I don't know if I told you this Alex we're actually packing a semi truck oh <laughs> semi truck I, I downplayed it to get you involved today so oh this is gonna be great <laughs> so it turns out you need a lot of stuff to have an event but yeah we're going we're heading down to Denison now which we have uh, some space down here where apparently we keep all of our flight fest stuff yep. uh, we're gonna see what we got down there put it on the pallets trucks coming nice. Thursday and we're shipping it out to California so if you're out in the area in California uh, we hope to see you guys there you can sign up at flightfest.com and if you're not out there in the California side we're also having flight fest east it's gonna be in July and have we announced flight fest south um, we're still working on it. We're just getting on uh, some organization things together, getting some permits and that sort of thing. So um, we hope to announce soon uh, some details for Flight Fest South. So it's not official yet, but we are doing everything in our power to have a, F a Flight Fest South. We know that there's a lot of you viewers out there are from all over the, not only the country, but also the globe. And we plan on catering to every one of you to the best that we possibly can. So keep an eye out on our channel, keep an eye out on our Facebook, social media, Instagram, um, also flightfest.com, all of the updates on the different events and announcements will be up there when they happen. And uh, sign up if you haven't yet. So we're gonna head to Denison and start packing. All right, so we made it. Just unloaded uh, Austin's Jeep. We're gonna head in here, take all these little bits of flight fests, put them on pallets and get them, get them wrapped up. So we're gonna see what's going on in here. Is that everything? Yeah. Nice. Oh. Okay. Almost got ran over. Got a little bit of everything in here. This is a big warehouse in the middle of nowhere. Wow, what are those things? And then this is our section. It looks yeah. like a yard sale. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> We have to make all of this make sense and ship it to California in the next six hours or so. Yeah, so basically we have to take all of this and kind of make it look like one of these. <laughs> that's what we, that's what it's supposed to look like. about what maybe two hours it, yeah two hours we had some awesome lunch and we also had a lot more people come including you and your wonderful wife came back yes we actually had dinner we came back we brought the little man yes. and now i'm gonna be doing a speedster you're gonna do a speedster let's go ahead and walk around the shop and uh and show you check out who else is here so we got mr mitch and mitch chill's come along really good, good. Oh, how, nice that look. Ooh. how many times do you have to go back to the video oh a lot a lot a lot <laughs> <laughs> I have to go Super back to the video good. too. We got Artem <laughs> and Miss Ina. Hi. Hi. And they are with your butt building the FT Flyer. FT Flyer and FT Arrow. Jen, she's uh, finishing up the Sea Duck. Yes. So, <laughs> well, you are you are the fastest builder in all the land. Thank you. Thank you very much. And over here, we got my two awesome boys. What are you building, Mike? Mini F22. Mini F22 for Mike and Noah. I am building the Punjab. You guys need some light over here? Sure. 
Andres is, is the one schooling us all. He is finishing up the uh, the brush. Bushwhacker. Bushwhacker. What, are you gonna build one after this one? Yeah. What's your next Probably. victim? Uh, no idea. Gonna no dig through the box. All right, we're gonna find out. So we're gonna we're gonna finish off our builds here, and then we're gonna go for round two. Wouldn't use it for anything. All right. We just finished. We, we just killed it. We killed it. They're all on the pallets. They're ready to go to you, to California. California, Vallejo. That time lapse probably made it look like we work very fast, but we've actually been here all day. This is the work we've been doing. We have all these pallets here. So it turns out you actually need quite a bit of crap to have an event on the other side of the country. I and mean, this is not even all of it. This is just like event infrastructure stuff. Tomorrow, with the help of Jay Bix and his wife Jen, we are going to be uh, wrapping up all of the store stuff, which is still over yonder. So we're getting pallets. Look at all these flight test little grems spin sleeping here in this warehouse. We'll be awakening in about California. Two weeks. About three weeks. Two weeks. We're gonna have to saran wrap all these. Finish packing up. We'll probably be, honestly, we'll be back here tomorrow. Hey. You excited? <laughs> Absolutely. I think it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. I do. We get time to see be, you there. Yes, yeah, so see you guys there. It's gonna be unlike any event RC wise that you've ever been to. So we hope to see you guys there. Yeah.